All right, what's going on? Um, welcome to this video. Hopefully I can help you out with um, your needs of a fish finder if you are currently looking for one um, that you do not have to drill any holes for. Easy install, really there's no install at all. Once you put together what I'm about to show you, you're going to have a fish finder that you can carry portably anywhere you go, put on almost any kind of boat or kayak, whatever you want to use it for, um, it's very, very portable, very awesome. What I'm talking about is the Garmin Striker 4 ice fishing kit, portable kit, one or the other. I believe it was originally designed for ice fishing. Okay, so it was obviously designed to be portable. Um, as you can see, it comes in this case right here, made by Garmin. It's their Striker 4, but they put everything you need for this fish finder to work right here in this bag. So you got your front opening here. That will allow you access to um, your display, which when we power on, you're receiving all your power for this from your battery, which is mounted right behind the display. It's held down by Velcro. It's got its own little uh, seat that it sits in. You Velcro it down. You got a sturdy handle here, right? And you can see your display power's on. I don't know. There we go. So you got traditional, right? You're obviously not going to be able to see this very well because we're not underwater, right? But you get the idea. So you'll see all your structure and stuff will come in. It'll give you the depth, water temperature, tell you how much voltage you have uh, in the battery. Uh, this is about a 13 volts uh, maximum battery. Um, I've ran it for hours and hours and hours, days and days and days of fishing. And um, I've only had to charge it twice since I bought it a year ago. So definitely a uh, good battery life, great display. Um, like I said, it was designed for ice fishing so you have your flasher um, so you can use it for that you can turn your chirp on and off you got split frequency a waypoint map waypoint map and traditional together so you can actually see uh, your waypoints while also looking at your uh, fish finest data settings normal stuff like that so everything you need in a depth finder Garmin Striker 4 does Besides, it will not let you load maps to it. But for me, um, like I said, I'm using this for a kayak that I didn't want to drill holes in. So, you got your battery mounted, you got your display, and then of course, coming out is your transducer that has a suction cup to it, right? So this suction cup, boop, right up underneath the bottom or side of your kayak, John boat, uh, whatever you want to efficiently use it on. It does it. Um, retail, I believe I got this for around 300 from Dick's um, a while ago. Um, but Dick's Sporting Goods definitely carried this. Um, and also, you can buy a longer transducer cable, and it comes with a little pool float style that you can actually slip the transducer through and then throw this out from the bank and use it kind of like a deeper uh, but you just don't have to tie it onto a rod then it's going to come with the charger so it's e easy when you run out of batteries you just plug this bad boy in go to your battery red to red, black to black pretty simple, charges it right up it's got the uh, protection on there so it will actually stop charging when the battery is full So. Yeah, this thing uh, is stellar. I'm really glad I bought it. I would definitely recommend it um, if you're not looking to drill holes in your kayak or do a lot of work for your uh, setup. Definitely check this thing out. The Garmin Striker 4 in the portable kit. Thumbs up approved. So, Garmin Striker 4. Portable, awesome, easy, fun. Worth it, worth every penny, so don't hesitate to go out and check one of these things out. You will not regret it. Um, you can also order um, all your parts off of Amazon um, if you lose your transducer or your suction cups getting old and worn out. Um, you can order parts to replace it off of Amazon. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. 
Thanks for watching. Please think about subscribing. I'm going to do some more reviews on uh, more of the gear that I use frequently. If there's anything you uh, that you've seen me use in any of my videos and you want to know uh, if that item is worth it, then I mean, you should probably already know that because I'm using it in all my videos. But thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.